Another suspect appearing in court today, Ernest Roberts, you see there is the former assistant principal of Miami Norland Senior High School, and now he is charged with murder. Officials say he killed teacher Camila Russell. Her body was found last month, and now investigators want answers. Local 10 News reporter Ian Margul is live in Miami Gardens with this story. And for Camila Russell's family, this has just been one long nightmare, as you can imagine. Now they finally know who police believed is behind her murder, but they still want to know why. Sir, you have been arrested for one count of premeditated murder. There is an arrest warrant. You're being held no bond. Short and to the point, a judge wasting no time on Saturday morning telling Ernest Roberts he will not be released on bond after he was arrested for the murder of Camila Russell. Russell, who was a test proctor at Miami Norland Senior High School, would have worked side by side with Roberts, who used to be the assistant principal at Norland. But Russell disappeared on May 15th, last seen on surveillance video entering Roberts Miami Gardens home. She entered the defendant's home, never being seen alive again. Ten days later, her body showed up floating in a canal nearby, and police say several tips came in suggesting Roberts may have been involved. But evidence was hard to come by until investigators got an interesting tip. From a school employee who referred a very suspicious note from Roberts that instructed the employee where the victim's car was and what he was supposed to do with this car. The note asked the employee if he knew anyone who could chop up a car and make it disappear. It was enough to get a search warrant of his home where police found evidence of a crime scene, blood spattered on several different areas inside and outside, and the smell of cleaning products as if someone had tried to get rid of evidence. Roberts was finally taken into custody on Friday morning. A motive is not a necessary element of a crime, but of course, we all want to know. And I did speak to a family member of Ernest Roberts just a little while ago off camera. They were saying that they are absolutely shocked by all this. They've been basically finding out information through the media and they do not know anything else. He was saying they're hoping it is not what it looks like, but he said the evidence against him, it does not look good. As for her family, they are still dumbfounded by all of this. They say they are working on funeral plans for some time soon. Live in Miami Gardens, I'm Ian Margul, Local 10 News.